Welcome to this BHHS Drysdale Properties exclusive video tutorial. Today we're jumping into Trend Graphics. This is a very comprehensive and robust product, so we can't cover everything, but we'll at least cover most of the basics so you feel comfortable exploring on your own. Like many of our platforms, Trend Graphics is available as a quick link on Agent Achieve, so let's start by signing onto our account and then clicking on that quick link. You'll be taken to the Trend Graphics page and then select Standard Report. This is where the real fun begins. From this page, we'll define the parameters of your report. Select the region using the drop-down menu at the top. Select one or more locations within the region. This can be done by MLS areas or by zip codes. To select more than one, hold down the control button as you click. You'll then select the price range, property size, date range, plus any other relevant parameters, and finally click on the Show Chart button to generate your report. Once your report is generated, you'll be able to see different report types by clicking between the tabs at the top. The For Sale versus Sold tab has several graph options including For Sale Sold Pending, For Sale Pending, and Sold Pending and the chart at the bottom of each report shows all of the sales statistics based on your criteria. The next tab over is average price per square feet, which is pretty self-explanatory. Over one more is the days on the market and sold to list price report. Again, pretty self-explanatory, although I will note that the graph allows you to choose the days on market from either the original listing date referred to as CDOM for cumulative days on market, or the final list price. The next tab is average price for sale and sold. Here you can decide to just display the average price for sale versus average price of sold properties, just the medium price of sold properties, or you can display the first graph over the second graph. Our final tab is months of inventory. Like on the other graphs, you can make your choice on the drop down menu. If at any point you have a question about exactly what you're looking at or the differences between the different graph options on a drop-down menu, you can hover over the quick guide in the right corner. That will serve as a useful help guide. Now that we've explored the different reports that are generated, let's look at how we distribute these reports, because obviously that's a big part of this whole thing. Let's click on the email button in the top left. Now you'll be allowed to select which reports you want to send in this email. A pro tip here from my buddy Judy Neeld, go from the bottom to the top when selecting. Each time you check a box, it will expand to show you all of the optional graphs, and that can be a bit annoying if you're working from top to bottom. Once you've selected your desired graphs and added your name as the preparer's name, let's fill in the email detail. What email address are you sending from? What email address are you sending to? What is your desired subject? And you also have the option of writing a little message to the recipient. Also, nice little option at the bottom where you can attach a document if you so desire. Once you have everything as you want it, hit send. If hard copy is more your thing, you can select print instead. Follow basically the same steps as within email and then hit create report. That will generate a PDF for you that will automatically be downloaded. From there, you can print. You also have the option of saving the graph by clicking on the save graph button or you can right click directly on the graph and choose the save image as option. Remember that chart that summarized the graphical information? We can save that as well. Simply select all of the table data with your mouse and then copy it. You can then paste it into an Excel doc and save it there. We've covered the basics, but now it's time for you to jump in there and explore it on your own. You may have noticed we skipped the post to web button. Click on that button now if you'd like to follow along with another step-by-step -step tutorial focusing specifically on that aspect. I hope this video was helpful and be sure to check back for more BHHS Drysdale Properties exclusive video tutorials.